Hey, welcome back to the channel. So let's talk a little bit about left-handed and right-handed. So I'm right-handed and I cannot uh, tell you what it's like being left-handed. Um, so if you're a left-handed player and you want to learn how to play guitar, seek out some other left-handed players. Uh, go to your local guitar store. Maybe someone's there can kind of guide you in the process. But I can tell you that it shouldn't matter a whole lot, um, theoretically. So from a learning theory perspective, you should be able to learn to play the guitar just like a right-handed guitar player. And some of the guys will even tell you, some left-handed players will even tell you, just to learn just like a right-handed player. So there's a dominant kind of hand theory kind of going, that goes around, has been around for a while. It's based on how your brain functions and some learning theory aspects. But as a right-handed person, my dominant hand is my right hand, the one I write with. And so therefore, if I'm playing the guitar, my right hand is, becomes my strumming hand. And my left hand, which is the one that needs to hold all the, have learned how to play all the intricate notes and stuff on the fretboard, is my weaker hand. So if you're left-handed, if you think about it, it's going to be reversed. If you pick up a right-handed guitar and you're brand new to the guitar, this is not telling left-handed players to go off and, hey, I'm going to learn how to play like a right-handed. No, you've already learned how to play. You've already built your muscle memory. And you've already done that process. I'm saying if you're brand new to playing the guitar and you're left-handed, then I would recommend buying a right-handed guitar and your weaker hand becomes your strumming hand and your dominant hand becomes your fretting hand. So it's a little bit different for you in the beginning, but it's kind of like you don't know what you don't know. So if you if you can learn that way, you know, because if a, if a left-handed guitar player can flip the guitar upside down and completely learn how to play all the notes reversed with all the high strings at the top and the low bass strings at the bottom and completely learn that way, and if someone can learn this you know, on a left-handed guitar with the right with the basic strings set up properly, or if the person who learns to play the guitar because they're blind and they learn how to play it fretting everything this way, or if someone learns to play with their feet, then you can probably learn a right-handed on a right-handed guitar if you're brand new to playing on the guitar. So. One of the advantages, one of the key advantages, if you can learn how to play, the, if a left-handed player can play on a right-handed guitar, is you'll have no shortage of guitars to buy in the future. And that is the key, because if you get addicted to the guitar, you're gonna to wanna to buy a lot of different guitars over the years, and you'll have a lot of guitars in your life, and you may have a lot of guitars on your wall, or guitars in cases, and more guitars, and more guitars. So as any guitar player, there's never any shortage of more guitars. So as a left-handed, Player, you'll play you'll probably end up paying a little bit more for each guitar and you won't have near the selection so my suggestion is left-handed guitar is just learn like a right-handed player um, in the beginning it's always going to be tough um, your weaker hand will be your um, reverse my your weaker hand will be your strumming hand but uh, that may be to your advantage I've also found talking to left-handed players that left-handed players are kind of ambidextrous and can kind of do things a little bit better than right-handed players with both both hands. So I'm rambling on a little bit, but that's a little bit about left-handed players. Um, you go do your research, talk to some people, and there's probably plenty of YouTube videos out there talking about left-handed players. Make your decision, talk to your instructor, um, check some things out. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe.